I'm going to show you something now that is a little ahead of the game. Uh, later on, we're going to be learning about things like aliases, how to create your own aliases and so forth, and um, about variables and that sort of thing, scripts. And you're going to want to make these things permanent in PowerShell. If you make, for example, a new alias, and then you close the PowerShell session, PowerShell session and open a new one, your alias is gone. So let's learn about how to do this. This is a variable profile. Now, don't worry about variables. We haven't really learned much about them yet. Just go with me on it for now. We'll learn about them later. This variable refers to a path, D documents, Windows PowerShell, and then a file, Microsoft.PowerShell underscore profile.ps1. So if we put our scripts that create things and do things in this PS1 file, then whatever we put in there will be permanent. Let's go ahead and take a look at this file. I'm just going to open up my file explorer and go to D, Documents, uh, Windows PowerShell, and the file, oh dear, doesn't exist. We're going to have to create it. Let's just minimize this for now, and I'm going to go ahead and open Notepad. And I don't want anything in here yet. I'm just going to save this. I'm going to say save as. And I'm in D documents Windows PowerShell, which is where I want it to be. And I want to call this Microsoft dot PowerShell underscore profile dot PS1. Now I don't want txt to be behind it so I'm going to go ahead and change this save as type to all files that way it will be a ps1 and when I say save and then I go back into this now you see that I I have that file available to me and all I have to do is add my uh, code whatever that be maybe make a new alias or whatever into that ps1 file and save it and it will now become permanent in PowerShell only one little problem, I can't run it. The reason I can't run it is because of the execution policy. And again, I know I'm ahead of the game. We will explain this later, but you need to do this. Set execution policy remote signed. And it asks me, do I really want to change it? I will say yes and done and now I'm ready to just change that file this file right here and I can make whatever I want to put in it permanent